This is a team associated uh, B6 3 buggy. Uh, this is the older version of the buggy now, uh, 0.4 is out, uh, but this one does the job. So there's three motors that I'm going to be swapping out, same exact day, same layout, everything. Uh, the first one is the Phantom Icon, uh, that is an older motor. Uh, then I'm going to be swapping out a Hobby Wing uh, G4. Uh, they're all going to be 17.5s, and then after that a Helix, uh, which is the new Phantom, also 17.5. Uh, now, running them, the Hobby Wing, really quick, the Icon, this motor uh, has been a very nice motor. It's a very smooth, very consistent motor. I really do like this Icon, but now that I've driven the other motors, it is time to swap it out. Uh, it is not as torquey as the other motors, so it doesn't have as much torque, and it's very easy to feel because with the other motors, I kept the same exact gearing, and I kept putting the nose up, so I had to really work to keep the nose down when jumping. Versus this one, it was a lot easier to put the nose down. So now the Hobbywing V10 G4 17, these are the runs now uh, for the Hobbywing. The hobby wing, a lot of torque right off the bat. Now, a uh, quick little thing, times, I do have the times, but it's a little unfair for the hobby wing, I'm gonna say, because I didn't realize I didn't set the amperage right. Uh, I was actually below five amps instead of at or above five amps, I like 5.5, somewhere close to that. Uh, so the KVs were lower. But to be honest, they don't make that much difference, and I'll show you at the end the pictures of the analyzer. Uh, as I ran it, and then once I turned the timing up, although I don't have running video because I did that afterwards, just so you can see how little the uh, the KB changes. And uh, the reason why, oh, so really quick, that little thing, that's because the run was also a pretty good run. It was 19.4, but it's not the fastest, and it wasn't important. Uh, but going back to the motor, uh, there isn't that much difference in KV, and usually, yeah, based on motors that I've tested, or when I, uh, if you've watched some of my other videos with the Trinity X Factor where I swapped some rotors on some of the motors, one of the things that I noticed is the stronger the rotors, the less of a KV difference there was. So uh, I don't have anything to actually test the strength of the rotor at this time for the Hobby Wing, but if I had to guess, it's probably a pretty good rotor. It's uh, There's quite a bit of strength in there considering how little KV difference there is. Uh, that's a 19 flat. And to be honest, it wasn't that difficult. The motor had plenty of torque. It just ran out of RPM. That's the only thing. So the Hobby Wing, I think, would be great for like a short course truck. So if you had a 17.5 short course truck class, I think it would be great for that. Uh, for touring cars, probably go with the Helix. The Helix has a really good amount of torque, very, very similar to the Hobby Wing, but it has more KV. I'm not saying one is better than the other because, like I said, I had them set up slightly different, and you're gonna notice in the temperatures as well, Hobby Wing's gonna run pretty cool. Helix, a little warmer, but still cool. I could have uh, brought up the gearing. With the regular Phantom, I was maxed out. Uh, but notice the numbers, right? Still low 19s. We had that 19 flat on the Hobby Wing. Uh, here's the Phantom. Uh, and to be honest, if I turned up the timing on the Hobby Wing, I probably would have gotten the same numbers as I did now on the Phantom. The only thing is the Phantom, because of the curve, it just seems to be a little smoother as it starts accelerating and then powers up the RPM band. So this being said, uh, it just seems that the Helix uh, just is probably more tunable uh, as far as the RPM range versus the Hobby Wing gives you a good amount of power, but right away you have it and it's uh, RPM, it's, it's over. Like it's fast, done, that's it. Versus the Helix seems to be a little, I don't want to necessarily say more gradual because it's actually pretty quick at accelerating very quick uh, but it just seems smoother getting up to speed and a little easier to control but then again yes. that could be because of the gearing I didn't tune for gearing Absolutely. so that's something very very important this is why I am not uh, choosing a favorite between 
the Helix and the Hobby Wing right away because of the gearing. I didn't mess with the gearing. I kept the gearing the same all throughout. So stock spur, 30 tooth uh, pinion for all three motors. Uh, so it's going to be a tough one, although I am leaning toward the Helix for a lighter vehicle. I noticed notice that 18.7 uh, for a lighter vehicle and the Hobby Wing perhaps for a heavier vehicle. Uh, but they're all, the construction is very, very nice construction. Machining, beautiful uh, machining on both motors. Uh, it really is a tough one. I would probably say get whichever one you can get on sale. Uh, if you can get a good deal on one, that's the one to get. But uh, here are the temperatures now, and they're in reverse order. So this is the Helix. Uh, so we're looking at about 90 there. I'm trying to take the temperatures in different spots. Uh, so that's 42 Fahrenheit. So that was about 101 Fahrenheit probably, because that was 40-something Celsius. So notice the 121. That was probably the highest temperature out of them all. Uh, oh, there, 130, so 54, 57 uh, Celsius. Um, but still, there is more potential. I could have turned the timing up. I could have added uh, maybe two teeth to the pinion gear. This is the hobby wing now. So notice the temperatures, uh, 123, not that far off, right? 50 degrees, very, very close. And the Helix is actually running at higher amperage, uh, which is interesting, at a lot higher KV. Uh, so they're very, very close. It's just a matter of tuning them with the gears. So if you're a Hobby Wing fan, get the Hobby Wing. If you're a Phantom fan, get the Phantom. This is the Icon. So this is the old version. Notice the temperatures, but there's nothing I can do with this motor. This motor is maxed out. If I add teeth like I had before, a bigger uh, pinion, it's, it's not going to have enough torque for some of those jumps, and that's the thing. So this motor is, well, it's outdated. Maybe it's just old. I don't know. But it served me well when it did. Uh, it was running at 51 degrees timing average. And if you look at the KVs, this is the Icon, the original, the old one. 35.65, over 8 amps. So it's maxed out. Uh, this is the Hobby Wing. It was running at 45 average. So only 45 degrees of timing. And it's at 3037 kV, 4.6 amps. So the amps can definitely go up just by turning the timing up a few degrees. But notice, if I turn up the degrees just 3 degrees more, so now we're an average of 48 degrees compared to 45 average before. Notice the kV is 3144. That's just over 100 kV more but it's already at 6.1 amps. So just by turning it up three degrees, we only get just slightly over 100 kV, which isn't much. Well, it's, it's enough to make a difference, but we're already at 6.1 amps. So I would say this would be the max, maybe the sweet spot. Now the Phantom I set the same degrees, which is 46 uh, degrees as the original Hobby Wing, but notice the KVs are 3,000, uh, 344 kVs at 5.3 amps. So that is one of the main differences here that for very similar timing you get far more kVs. It's a significant difference. Uh, the amperage does go up but even if you compare the high amperage, the 6.1 amps and the higher timing, this one is still 200 kV more. Uh, compared to how I was running it originally, it would have been 300 kV more. So that, that was enough to make for the time difference. And I think both of these motors are going to be very, very similar. It's just going to come down to gearing. The Hobby Wing will probably have to be geared higher, and it will probably handle the higher gearing. This one will be geared lower. So it's going to depend on the individual's preference. Uh, if you're planning on buying the motor, do you, would you rather gear high? you should probably get the Hobby Wing. Would you rather gear low and make up the torque with gearing? You should probably get the Helix. Now, this is a quick comparison between the original Phantom, so the, the uh, 1722, that is the Gauss for the rotor, versus 1750, which is the Gauss for the new rotor. So there is a slight Gauss difference, but I would not say that's enough to make up for such a large time difference, if you consider it to be such a time difference. Then again, one could also make the argument that 
because the Helix was the last motor for me to run. I was more used to the track. That's a possibility as well that I'm not discarding, but once you drive them, you can definitely sense the difference in how they drive and the force. It's a lot easier to make jumps. If you make small little mistakes, it's a lot easier to correct, especially before jumps with the Helix than it is with the Icon. In summary, if you're looking into buying a new motor, I would not buy a Phantom Icon uh, V2. Uh, those are still for sale as of the time of this video. They're probably going to be discontinued soon. Uh, I would get a Phantom Helix RS or a Hobbywing V10 G4 in, if you're looking at 17.5. Now, how would I decide between the two? Well, whichever one's on sale, that would be number one. But to be honest, there isn't much difference between the two. They both feel like they have more than enough torque for a buggy. Therefore, they're going to have more than enough torque for a touring car. Uh, now, if you want to make up for torque with uh, gearing, get the Helix. It has more KV. Uh, if not, uh, then you can gear up and get the Hobbywing. The Hobbywing feels like it has more than enough torque to gear up potentially higher. So both of them are very good motors uh, they have very good uh, they have very good torque uh, i will say just on today's runs on these runs here in these videos the phantom helix rs does seem to have a smoother rpm band as well as power band it does have punch when you want punch but it is smooth when you want it to be smooth uh, the hobby wing it feels like just power and all power all the time or torque for that matter but then it seems like the speed is over a lot quicker whereas the helix just seems to keep going uh the, i don't want to call it a drop off but if there is a drop off it's not as noticeable uh in the top end as of the time of this video i do have other videos one on each one of these motors as far as their kv and how they do and generally uh for kv runs i generally go partial higher so about a third two thirds and then full uh, so you can see how the kvs also act at midpoint so if you have a chance and you would like to watch those videos uh, go ahead and watch them i'm going to link them below uh, but that being said uh, i hope you found this informative or at least entertaining thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,